It may say something sad about my life, but I find the idea of this initiative, of this series of forums, very exciting. It is truly important in a democracy that when we are going to commit to spend billions of dollars of the taxpayers' money, we engage them in a discussion about what and why and how and whether we should do that. And this is not the only thing we're doing in the discharge of that obligation, but it's a new and an exciting thing. It's designed to inform people about some of the challenges and issues associated with the fight on, against global poverty and the associated issues about climate change and health and gender and educational opportunity and rights. It's designed not just to inform, though, but to engage people, to give them a chance to ask questions immediately, to make them think, for people who are not here to get a chance to engage through the website. It's designed to d deepen people's understanding. Many people have a general empathy with the idea that Australia should do more in the fight against global poverty but either feel disempowered or have only the most rudimentary understanding of how they might participate and what their government might do and what the character of the challenge is. And so we hope to deepen that understanding and to motivate people to get active, to get actively engaged, to become advocates, to become participants in the myriad opportunities that exist in Australia to be a participant in the fight against global poverty. The Australian Government has taken this initiative for essentially two reasons. One is, it is our democratic obligation. We are charged with, in a democracy, telling people what we're doing and why we're doing it. But also, unashamedly, it's a long-term investment in trying to build the basis of support for the program of increasing spending on development assistance. The government came to office with a commitment substantially to increase our development assistance budget, and we are starting to do that. And we want to engage in a public debate that will reinforce public support for the idea that this is a worthwhile, proper, investment of taxpayers' dollars in the future of the globe and in the interests of our nation. Tonight it's going to be very much a discussion about issues related to climate change and you have three people speaking about it who can address it from a number of perspectives. What I see as someone who's not an expert in that area but who's travelled particularly in recent times to many developing countries is the great unfairness that the people who contributed the least to global warming are likely to pay the highest price. The poorest, the, the least powerful, in our region most obviously and easily exemplified by the people living on the, low -lying, the countries that are low-lying atolls in the Pacific. But it's equally true in other parts for the not surprising reason when you think about it that the poor tend to live on the most marginal land that's where, because they're poor and powerless, that's where they finish. And it's because they're there that they're poor and powerless. So the, imp the potential impact of climate change on those people is greater, but they've contributed next to nothing to the problem. And yet those of us who've been substantial contributors are not so directly and immediately affected. So we have an obligation to do something about it. And like you, I'll be very interested to hear the views of the speakers. I want to thank World Vision and the International Women's Development Agency. They each separately came up with an idea very similar to this and that they are, in, they are initiatives on their behalf that we have been very pleased to join. I want to thank you all for coming. It's very encouraging to see so many people here to participate and engage. Like you, I look forward to listening to the speakers, to listening to the discussion that follows and the question and answer session and I hope this and all the other forums that are conducted around the country 
are the beginning of an important long-term engagement between the Australian government, the non-government organisations and the Australian people about our role in the fight against global poverty. This is an important and exciting initiative and I'm pleased to have the opportunity to join it and to launch it. Thank you, Bob McMullen, the Parliamentary Secretary for International Development Assistance.